Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to welcome everyone watching us from around the world, from India to Dubai to South Africa to the British Virgin Islands to Jamaica to the USA to Canada to Trinidad uh, and back in Barbados. We welcome you. Welcome you. We are the Greatness Channel. We are part of Fresh Anointing and Wisdom Network. And the Lord has raised up this channel to carry his voice. To carry his voice for a group of his creation. See, let me explain something to you. Because man was sound activated. What do you mean man was sound activated? There was a sound that needed to come from God. And the sound was let us. So sound initiated man's creation. In fact, sound initiated the creation of the earth. It says, and God said, there was sound sound so when God wants to reach a group of people he sends a sound oh my lord Ooh, he sends a sound now the sound that he sends is different for every group of people you see there is a sound that there are wonderful ministries that carry a particular sound but the sound does not activate my spirit hey. uh, are you hearing me? they are wonderful ministries but the sound does nothing for my spirit because I am not attached to that sound hey. that sound does nothing for me it is like even in music I mean opera, Italian opera music does nothing for me. Like when I was in Aruba, I went to this restaurant. Italian opera, Pavarotti. I was hearing that. And it does, it does, it does nothing for my spirit. It does nothing for my emotions. It does nothing for my body. It does nothing for me. So that sound does not what? Affect my what? my spirit it doesn't affect my emotions it doesn't affect my body you understand that so they're different but now instrumentals they're certain sounds from instruments if I, if I hear a particular sound now I'll start to prophesy hey it's a sound so we are creatures that are moved by sound now, so when God raises up a ministry, he raises up a ministry and he gives it an a authentic sound that he knows would activate a group of people that he knows are activated by that sound. That is why if you, if we do not rise up and do our role, those that are attached to the sound of this wisdom movement. Ah, yeah, yeah. The sound of this wisdom movement will never, would never rise up and become the wise virgin church that God has called them to. Because there's a sound, there's a way we articulate the word. There's a way, that is why you must never compromise your sound. You see, when you compromise your sound, you, you, you compromise who is activated by your sound. Jesus. Woo. Ay, ay, ay. So, greatness channel, it carries a sound that's going to the four corners of the earth. And 
the earth has a demand for our sound. I said there's a huge demand for our sound. I was in Aruba and those watching from Aruba, awesome. It was great being there. Those watching from Trinidad, awesome. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And we'll be back very soon. <laughs> Amen? Amen? Hallelujah. So Greatness Channel carries the sound of a wise virgin church. <laughs> Woo! It carries the sound of a people that become light in their generations. They change the trajectory of nations. They drive darkness from communities. Ah, yeah, yeah. That's the sound that we carry. And everything else is part of that. So, on the Apple Store, the Greatness Channel app is called Greatness TV. Okay, and you can go also to Android and you can find it. You can put Greatness Channel and you see F A W N Media. That's the one to use. Amen. Let's take our seats. Amen. And I have to say, hey, Elder Dion, can you say she's a certified daughter? <laughs> Hey. Ay, ay, ay. Hey, hey. Hey. You know when the spirit has been transferred. Akatabasai. When you see when the father sees his spirit on the daughter. Ay, ay, ay. That is good. So well done. Well done. Well done, Elder Dion. Well done. Awesome. Amen. Very good. Now today, I am going to coach you, and I'm going to coach you on a subject called Spirit Halos. Somebody say Spirit Halos. Now, when the Spirit of God gave me my coaching mandate, I was in Barbados, and I was on my way to bed, and I heard the audible voice of God say, the problems of this world can be solved by the people of this world if they fulfill vision. The problems of this world can be, and he said it again, the problems of this world can be solved by the people of this world if they fulfill vision. Now, what is vision? Vision is a picture of a future that is trapped in the present. Ay, ay, ay. Vision is what? Is a picture of a future that is trapped in the present. Mm -mm -mm. So, vision is like an egg that carries a chicken that has not been birthed yet. So vision is the picture of a future. Vision is not a fantasy. Vision is not a wish. Vision is not you saying, man, one day I wish I have a yacht. That's a wish. Vision is, <laughs> there's yacht making money about to hit your account next year. Ah, yeah, yeah. I said, you are in a yacht creation, a yacht, a yacht money creation deal. <laughs> Amen. I tell you, you're, you're already in the deal. Hey, and you can see the yacht that's about to appear. Are you with me? So that means the yacht making money is trapped in the present. Hey. And you, it is already working. And you have a vision of it. So you cannot have the vision of something that you don't have the ingredients for it in the present. So the Lord is was telling me, he says that the problems of this world can be solved by the people of this world if they fulfill vision. So he was telling me that many people on the earth do not fulfill vision. Then the next thing the Lord spoke to me, he said, in audible voice, he said, the problems of a generation. Some say the problems of a generation. Some say the problems of the Caribbean. Say the problems of my nation. The problems of my community. The problems of my family. 
So he says the problems of a generation. This is what he said. The problems of a generation will never be greater than the ideas and solutions within people born into that generation. Otherwise, I set up the generation to fail. Jesus. Woo! Those words will never go old. He said, the problems of a generation will never be greater than the ideas and solutions within people born into that generation. Otherwise, I set up the generation to fail. And God did not set up a generation to fail. Turn to your neighbor and say, I wasn't set up to fail. Say, we were not set up to fail. But then he spoke to me, he said, these ideas and solutions are within people in the form of what? An uncommon vision. Woo! So there are common visions and uncommon visions. A common vision is, wow, Zavrist is this. Huh. When I finish my fast, I am trying to decide what I'm going to eat. That's a vision. Amen? Uh, I'm going to decide, wow, uh, my vision is, that's a common vision. Vision is, um, what exactly am I going to have for Christmas lunch? That's a what? A common vision. Common vision, uh, what clothes am I going to wear for my, for the dinner? The dinner awards. I know prophetess is going to come extra hot. So I... I, what am I going to wear? <laughs> Extra spicy hot. So, 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 I, so there's a vision. So I said, what, what, what am I going to wear? So that's the vision. Are you with me? So that's a common vision. But an uncommon vision is a vision that somebody else doesn't have. Woo, because it's not common. I said it's not common. So an uncommon vision is not a vision for a house. It's a common vision. An uncommon vision is a vision that somebody doesn't have. It is not common. He said, these ideas and solutions are within people in the form of an uncommon vision. And then he said the statement. He said, except the... Th then, the then the audible voice spoke again. He said, except the wisdom hey, in the visionary matches the uncommon vision the vision will become the object of the visionary's frustration but I need to say that again he said except the wisdom in the visionary matches the vision the vision will become the object of your frustration that means you have a vision that is greater than your wisdom so there's a wisdom gap. And then he spoke to me. He says, I'm calling you hey, to take wisdom to visionaries. Woo! So, when I am in this mandate, I am not for people who just want to survive. <laughs> hey, aye, aye, aye. I am for people who want to create something. <laughs> Oh, I hear me. So those who just want to survive tomorrow, this message is not for you. I'm not sent for you because thou art a survivor. Your vision is to just exist tomorrow. You don't want to create anything greater than today. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there somebody here who wants to create something greater than today? <laughs> Is there somebody who has a burning fire to create something greater than today? Is there somebody that has a seed on the inside of you that has not blossomed yet? That has not produced yet? And you know I carry something greater. If that is you, then I'm here for you today. If that is not you, you're in the wrong place 
and I'm the wrong man of God for you. Go find somebody that will preserve you uh, until preserve you. you. If you just want to tread water, ah, they are uh, they the preservers. I'm not a preserver. Hey, hey, I'm an activator. I'm a deliverer. Hey, uh, you know, there's some people that don't want deliverance. Hey, hey, they just want to stay in their state and receive. Uh, uh, pity for the estate hallelujah I'm the wrong man of God for you I'm not a dispenser of pity I'm a dispenser of wisdom I'm a dispenser of power I'm a dispenser of the glory of God I'm a dispenser of the power of God to lift a generation hallelujah so, so today I'm going to teach you a module from the wisdom curriculum. Hey. Are you ready? I'm going to teach you what? A module. I'm going to coach you on a module from the wisdom curriculum because I'm sent with a curriculum. You see, a wisdom curriculum. Hey. And today we're going to do a module. And the module that we're doing in the curriculum is called Spirit Halos. Hey. Ah, yeah, yeah. Somebody says spirit halos. Ah, yeah, yeah. Somebody say, but I've never heard a teaching like that. Yeah, because I'm sent to my generation with a message they've never heard. <laughs> to lift up a people to a place they've never been. Hallelujah. Ah, yeah, yeah. And today, somebody's life is going to shift. I said, today, somebody's life is going to shift. So the title of my message is called Spirit Halos. Now, let us define what is a halo. Because for some people, uh, they think it's the name of, uh, of a sister in church, Sister Halo. So, so let's find out what's a halo. Uh, what's a halo? A halo is what? It's a disc or circle of light shown surrounding or above the head of a saint or holy person to represent their holiness. Let's read that definition again. Go back. Ay, ay, ay. A halo is what? A disc or circle of light shown surrounding or above the head of a saint or holy person to represent what? Their holiness. Next one. A halo is a circle of white or colored light around the sun, moon, or other luminous body caused by refraction through ice crystals in the atmosphere. Read it, some of you, that's the only science you have heard in the last 40 years. A circle of what? Let's read it again. A circle of what? White or colored light around the sun, moon, or other luminous body caused by refraction through ice crystals in the atmosphere. I was in an encounter with the Lord, Asta Vista. And in this encounter with the Lord, Man Zediza, the angel, an angel of the Lord that talks to me was there. And I was given 14 rules about the spirit realm. <laughs> Lava Asa. So I'm going to teach you one of the rules that was given. And I heard the angel speak to me about spirit halos. So let's go into the word. Turn to your neighbor say the things in the word you've never seen. Okay, so let's go in it. Hallelujah. Let's go to ay, ay, ay. the book of Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 50 verse 11. 50 from verse 10. Isaiah chapter 50 verse 10 in New King James. Isaiah chapter 50 verse 10 in the New King James. And we're going to understand something. Astava Obosisa. Oh, glory be to God. Okay, it says, Who among you fears the Lord? Mm -mm -mm. Who among you fears the Lord? 
who obeys the voice of his servant so he's asking different questions who among you fears the Lord or who obeys the voice of his servant that who obeys the voice of the man of God that's Isaiah so Isaiah is prophesying who among you fears the Lord obeys the voice of his servant then he asks another question who walks in darkness and has what no light then he says let him trust in the name of the Lord and rely upon his God next verse he says look all of you who kindle a fire who encircle yourself with sparks who now he says look all of you he says what look all of you who kindle a fire now let me explain the Holy Ghost spoke to me he says every human being kindles a fire and is surrounded by sparks <laughs> he says every human being is surrounded by a halo Jesus hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. he says look all of you who kindle a fire who encircle yourself with sparks so around you there is and the reason why it's called fire is because fire activates fire spreads fire is contagious so your halo is like a fire around you and your halo actually cuts a path for you mm -mm -mm. are you hearing me are you hearing me so everybody has a halo that's why some people call your halo your aura ah boy I'm preaching to somebody he says look all of you kindle a fire who encircle yourself with sparks he says walk in the light of your fire and the sparks you have kindled so you are a kindler of sparks that encircle you now here's the thing you can kindle what does kindle mean kindle means to what to light you light the matches so your halo is created by what what you light what you initiate what you detonate what you start oh is somebody getting me i said is somebody getting me it says walk in the light of the, your fire in the sparks you have kindled now here's the thing you can create a halo that is the enemy of your spirit ay 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 you can have the spirit of a pastor and the halo of a prostitute oh you know here with me now Rahab had the spirit of a deliverer but the halo of a harlot can I preach to somebody here Is, you understand that because when she was asked the question the first thing she wanted to do was deliver her entire family and she had the spiritual perception to know and she saw in the spirit that Israel was going to demolish them and she saw in the spirit what the God of Israel was going to do that means the woman had spiritual awareness that means the woman could see in the spirit that is why God put her in the what in the lineage of who the lineage of Jesus this was the woman whose spirit <laughs> who was in the lineage of Jesus but she had what the halo of a harlot and she was a high class harlot 
she had a house on the wall that means she was uh, she was very active in the business <laughs> ay, ay, ay. are you with me so what I'm telling you is this Kala Manasai. Woo. do you understand what I mean she, the woman did not have a house on where she did not have a house on land she had a penthouse can I preach to somebody she had a what a penthouse her house was not on the ground her house was on the wall and not only that the top of the wall that you could leave her rooftop and be on top of that wall hey that's an expensive house I wonder how many men she slept with to get that house she got a Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, I tell you, I'm telling you, because we know she didn't get that house from any other means. In fact, the woman was so known. Let me explain. Let me ask you something. Do you know the harlot that is walking down? Uh, well, what's the name of the area in, in Barbados? To get light district. Nelson Street. Do you know the name of any harlot walking down there? I'm asking you, do you know the name of any harlot walking down there? No. You know why? They are small fries in the harlot business. <laughs> you don't know the name of the harlot there? Do you know the name of that harlot? No. But all the soldiers, they knew. Ah! Rehab the harlot. Are you understanding me? That means she was not a small fry in the harlot business. Hey, that means she was like she was an exclusive high end harlot. Hey, absolutely. Hey, is somebody getting this? And you now know. And so for her to be that kind of harlot that's why she was able to get that kind of money to have a house hey, that was built attached to a wall and not at the bottom of the wall not the middle of the wall but the top of the wall with a view hey share the view share the view it could, it could be her customers like the view <laughs> Share the view. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey. Now, but that lady, her spirit was different than her halo. My God. Now, here is the thing. Your halo is what creates the next thing that happens to you. Because your halo is like a fire. Oh my God. So there are people who I can put them in a role based on their spirit. So they can have a spirit to run a company. But they have a halo that creates division. Oh boy, can I preach to you? So they can have a spirit to run a company. But they have a halo. Have you ever seen some people when they come in the room, you say, this one is trouble. Yeah. Yeah. Shh. Ask the says. Hey, in fact, have you ever seen a man and a woman? They sit. You look at them, you say, wow. <laughs> this man is under the cob. <laughs> you say, oh, Lord of mercy, boy. You can tell that this one, <laughs> He is hell. <laughs> hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Are you with me? Then you can look at the man and woman and you can say, huh, this man, the man hasn't said anything. But you can look at him. You can say, you can say okay, this one, hi. I know this one has cheated at least five times. Are you with me? Because what? He has what? The, he's married. But he has the halo of what? 
a adulterer, a cheater. Here's, here's the halo of it. The halo is there. Hey. Has he said anything? It's just what? The halo. Oh, man. Hey, hey, hey. You see, what some of you don't understand, you want things that your halo does not want. Sagadesis. Oh my. There are people who have the halo of poverty. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh, there are people who have a halo of what? Poverty. Your spirit was made for prosperity, but your halo is a, is a poor halo. So the halo would activate, the halo is a kindle, the halo is a fire. So the halo is the fire of poverty. So the halo is the fire. Rahab's halo was the fire of prostitution. Jesus. There's some people you see them, you know, this one is a is a dealer. In fact, he might even deal in drugs. <laughs> this one, this one is shifty. They might say, Hi, woman of God. Look at them and say this this one. I I I I the halo that I sense does not match the woman of God that they, they said. <laughs> oh, I would mean that's because of what? The what the halo. So now we call the halo atmosphere or aura. No, it is the what? The halo. I remember going to a place. I think I forgot to bring my wallet to anything. And I had to go in and required money. And the person looked at me and said, you look honest. Come in. What, what, what did he do? He did it on me. But he checked my halo. And he knows the halo of this man is not a man that is dishonest. <laughs> because I have a, what, a honest halo. Because what? It is that is who I am. It's the fire I've kindled. Oh, my Lord. Now, let me explain something to you. I mean, some of my daughters don't understand this, huh? I've been teaching my daughters, but they don't get this. There's some of you, you're single, but you have the halo of a married woman. So if a man is, if the Lord is speaking to a man, and he says, check that lady out she's the woman for you he would think the way she's acting she must be married because I feel something around her that says don't talk to me don't even think about it <laughs> but the woman is praying at home father what what, what, what the, the, the halo around you so you may think she may be divorced she, she may be separated uh, she may have already have a boyfriend because when a man checks you out he checks your what? your halo ay, ay, ay. Hey, he checks your what? your halo in fact you can, see, you can say this one is a serious Christian uh, there will be no Mickey Mouse he, you see, he, can, he can actually check your halo on the first date he can check your halo and say, ah, this one, there's no chance. This one will give me scriptures, so I won't bother ask. <laughs> but this one, ha, by the third date, ha, ah, 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 hallelujah. <laughs> I will have access to the treasury. <laughs> Are you with me? <laughs> because how did he look at that? He's not prophetic. He's not seen in the spirit. All he's doing is checking what? Your halo. Yeah, hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, is there somebody who's getting my message? I said, is there somebody that's getting my message? In fact, you can, you, you, you ladies, you've also met a man. He's, he's in church. And he says he wants to date with you. And you look at him and you say, see this one? If I say no sex, the relationship will end. He's 
a brother and he said, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Shakalabaraba Satan. But, but when you're with him and you go out, you say this one. If I say, we need to go see Dr. Thomas, he's like, Why? <laughs> You already know. We are going to be following uh, scriptural. You have to do everything proper. The moment you say proper, you yourself know. Based on his halo, it's not that you're prophetic. Based on his halo, you know because the man does not want any accountability. The man wants to do as he pleases. The man does not want any supervision. You understand? You, you actually can tell this one. He just wants to do as he pleases with me, with no accountability. You can tell. He has the halo of a lawless man. Let me tell you do not ever trust a man who does not have a head. Okay? Because if he is, keep becomes your head, and the head has nobody to report to. You're in trouble. Wow. Hey. Hey. So any man who runs from accountability, hey, yeah, 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 you're setting yourself up. But you can check that from his halo. <laughs> from what? His halo. Hey. Is somebody getting this message? Now, each one of you you have a halo. Your halo can downgrade your calling. Your halo can become a weapon against you. So I know some of my daughters, so I'm talking my sons, they have the halo, they have the gift of an anointed person, but they have a halo that is Keep your distance. <laughs> it's love them with a long spoon. <laughs> you know, there, there, there are two kinds of spoon. Short spoon and long spoon. I, I, I once met a pastor. She says, boy, I have some members in the congregation. I feed them with what? A long spoon. <laughs> Oh Lord. So they, they have a long spoon halo. Are you hearing me? So it's the halo. The halo tells you this one is disrespectful, dishonorable, and disorderly, and will cause confusion. So you, the halo already tells you that. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's not that you got a word from the Lord. The, the halo, your, you see, your halo prophesies about you. Your halo tells people about you. Now, there is another word that people in the business world use. So in the business world that are functioning, world of high finance, they, you know what they call halo? They call it energy. And they say energy never lies. <sighs> wow. They say energy never. See, they don't to prophesy. They are readers of what? Energy. And they say, Andre, I just love your energy. I love your energy. But there are people that have a deceptive energy. They could have, they could have words of integrity. They could present themselves as people of integrity, but their energy is the energy of deception. So they always make this statement in the world of high global finance, energy does not lie. That is why some of them say, they will tell me, before I really do major business, I do not like to do it, meet somebody on Zoom. Because Zoom can stop me from reading the energy. Hey, oh my God. And these guys are not saved. 
Are you hearing me? These guys are not what? Saved. But what they're doing, they're reading what? Your halo. Hey, shataraba osa. They didn't get to the top by not reading. I said, you don't get to the top by not knowing how to read. So you wonder how they read. You, you're the one who, some of you are so foolish. You read the halo of somebody and the halo is telling you something. But because of your need, you, you dismiss the halo. I said, you dismiss the halo. Oh, it says, this you will have for my hand. You shall lie down in torment. Why would they lie down in torment? Because of the sparks, the type of sparks they have kindled. So everybody walks in the light of their fire. So what you need to do, you need to create the halo that matches your spirit. I am a man that is sent to represent the move of God to nations. Therefore, I need the halo of an ambassador of God. So for me, I don't need the halo of Kirk Franklin. Are you with me? So I, I, I don't need the halo of a contemporary gospel singer, of a rap artist. See, a rap artist has a particular what? Halo. No, me, I need the halo of what? Somebody who, rep who, because God told me, your purpose is to represent the move of God to nations. So that is my personal purpose. I'm called with a bunch of thousands of other people to raise up a wise virgin movement. Because the Bible says you're called according to your what? Your purpose. So your purpose and your calling is different. God can call many people to do the same thing. But our purposes are different. So my purpose, so all, there's so many of you here that are watching that are called to raise up this wise virgin movement with me. But my personal purpose is different. My wife is called to this same movement. But her purpose is different. So you are called according to your purpose. That means your purpose and your calling are different. Oh boy. Ah. My purpose is not to raise up a wise virgin movement. My purpose is not to take people from bondage to greatness. Those are callings that are according to who? My purpose. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, are you hearing this? So I need to develop a halo that matches who? My purpose. Because in my purpose, I have to take the move of God to nations. That means I have to stand before the people that govern what? Nations. And let me tell you, if I stand before prime minister with the halo of a rap artist, where are we going? <laughs> Hey, Prime Minister, what's up? <laughs> hey, <laughs> Lagaraziza. Hey, hi. I'm called to take people from bondage to greatness. So I stand before people with bondage. I say, Hey, how are you in your bondage? <laughs> I'm gonna run what? Hello. Hey. And then we have some people, they copy other people's halos. Suck at his ass. That's what we call you fake. That's what they say. She's so fake. Two faced, <laughs> three faced, or ten faced. Because what's happening now, let me. Can I go deeper in this? Now, every person has their halo. And you can have somebody who is a believer with a halo that is demonic. So you can be called to be a millionaire 
and you have the halo of acute poverty. In fact, everywhere that you go, if they're going to fire somebody, you're first because you just look like they want to fire. You just look like they want to fire because your halo is you belong to the back. That's the halo that you have. It's that you don't deserve to be here. Whereas the people who it's like they belong here. But you, they look at you and say, she doesn't really belong. Because, but in your spirit, you could belong. But your halo is opposite. So some of you, you are praying, but you need to kindle a new halo. Some of you, they, some of you have the halo of a beggar. In fact, when somebody sees you coming, they say, what, what, what are they going to ask now? In fact, rich people do not like having you around. Because if as they see you coming, they say, hey, what, what is the next request? You see, you, I don't, you see you, wisdom is straight. Does somebody need some wisdom here today? You see, you, uh, in fact, you will wonder why some people are avoiding your phone calls. They're like, you text, they don't answer. It's like, what next? You don't say hi. They say, huh. what is behind this hi? <laughs> what is that? It's because you have the halo of what? A beggar. I, I work. Have you, okay, do you see who I work with? Have you seen the men that I'm in business with? You, you, you have seen them. Not ask for one cent. I work with people who own partners. One of my partners, his company is worth seven billion. Another one is worth. Another one makes five billion a year. Shakarabas. We are partners. We are fifty-fifty partners. Fifty-fifty. I will never be fifty-fifty. With a man who makes fifty, who makes five billion a year, if he perceived in me that I was asking him for anything, because he treats me as an equal and I deal with him as an equal, because of what my halo. There's nothing in me. When I come to the table, I'm bringing my value. You bring your value, and we create something bigger. Shakaras. Oh Lord. I don't think you're hearing me. Zadara. You know why? I have the halo of a prince. Shakalahas. Oh my God. I said, you see, you see, it's the halo. But some of you, you have the halo of a peasant. And some of you have a halo of a beggar. Hey, you actually have the halo of a beggar. So if God put, if, you could have the halo of a beggar. And the calling of a multimillionaire. So God can connect you from your prayers with a multimillionaire to do business. But you go there with the hill of a beggar. And believe you me, that, that, that beggars, people who have had to earn work so hard, begging makes they, they just makes them it's like because if you're a beggar, then they will do what is called give to the poor. But they don't partner with the poor. Hey, you see, they don't partner with the poor. They give donations and uh, charity to the poor. So if you manifest your beggarly attitude, they will give you charity, but you can never be a partner. Hey, and for some of you, the way you do your face and twist your mouth, it is already cost, cost, is creating a halo. You see, you don't understand me. I'm helping you people. Some of you, you the way you twist your mouth and you do your face is creating a halo. Hey. And then some of you, you're even single. The way you do your face, the man the Lord is speaking, when he sees her, he says, Lord, hmm. Hey, I don't know if I will have the grace for this one. Because the way this face looks now, even with makeup, 
I will wonder what she looks like in the morning without makeup. <laughs> and she's moody. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah. I really wonder. Oh my God. I, 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 I. Lord, are you really speaking to me? Okay, what I will do, I will go on a 40 day fast to realize if God, you're really telling me that this is my woman. Because the halo that comes from you has scared the man. The arrow is terrifying the man. Hey. Hey. You see, so some of you, so some of you, my, my daughters, you don't know how to separate things. Some of you, you take your business halo into your private life. Oh boy, you hear what I'm saying? I had a girlfriend once. I said I had a what? A girlfriend once. No longer have her. But it was, it was it had a girlfriend once. And her father, you see my wife is looking at me, I said hey, once. Once upon a time. Once upon a time, I had a girlfriend. And this girlfriend, <laughs> and this girlfriend, her father was the number one lawyer in the country. And the, and the father did not have, when he came home, he did not have the halo of a father. So when there's a time, him, the, the girlfriend, her sister, and her brother were having issues with the dad, and dad has issues with them. Now the dad, you know what the dad did? The dad, instead of having a conversation with his children, went to the high court judge and got an injunction for them to leave his house and pinned it on their doors. So they come home and they saw, uh, the court orders you within 72 hours to take your belongings and leave. So he was at home with the halo of a judge not the halo of a father. So some of you, 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 what a man, but you talk to the man with the halo of a CEO. He doesn't want CEO. You talk to the man like he's one of your staff in the office. You see, I'm teaching you something. Uh, you, you see, you should pay me for this. <laughs> you should say, Dr. Thomas, I, I, I need to pay you for what you're helping because you're helping me did get delivered. You see, you, cause, because, you see, you don't understand why there's something that is repelling people. Because you do not know how to separate. So, like example, okay, who has seen me in a business environment? Who's worked with me in the business environment? Who's worked with me in the business? Is my halo in business the same as church? That's it. Supposing I went to church, I went to business with, a, with my church halo. Hey, can I prophesy? Hiya <laughs> sataya. <laughs> hey, <laughs> are you with me? Hey, now how many of you know? <laughs> there's some people now. They're, they're in the in the conference that we had. Are you aware that Congressman McGreen is a believer, right? But when he was there, what halo did he have? His what? His political part. Uh, now, not everybody knew how to have the, that part because there were some individuals that were there who thought they were in church. <laughs> because they did not understand about what? Are you understanding? You see, you don't understand. It's, it, it's a complex, it's, it's a serious thing. It's, it's, you need to understand. So, some of you, you can go now 
That is why, I'm going to help you. Yeah. That is why executive women find it very, executive women who don't have wisdom find it difficult to maintain romantic relationships. Because executive women do not know what the halo is for. You have the work halo. When you step in the office, hey, you step into, you are in a what? Executive role, and if you're the head, you're the head. But when you step into that relationship, your man is the head. So if you don't have the, that halo, now, okay, some of you, you say, but the man is foolish. Well, that is because you, you chose a man with a foolish halo. So that is your problem. <laughs> and you say, to submit to that kind of foolishness is hard. That is your decision. My wife has no problem in submitting to me. Is my wife a strong woman? But she has no problem submitting to me because of the wisdom of her husband. Hey, but if she was married to El Fulisho, not even foolish, El Fulisho. Sakatabasis. Ista Hayabai. Hey! Are you with me? El Fulisho. Hey! It will be hard. Ay, 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 ay. I mean, you have to speak in tongues every time. As he's speaking, I crucify the flesh now. If the spirit of the Lord that raised up Jesus from the dead lives in me, it causes me not to tell this man some bad words in the name of Jesus. Oh, Sakaya, I hold myself now by the anointed. I am on your sotea. Are with me? <laughs> because he's talking pure nonsense. Hey, 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 hey. So, so some ladies. Do you, do you understand what it means that somebody is your head? If the head of my body must have more brain than my body. Hey, did you hear it? The head. If somebody is your head, they must have more brain than you. Oh, but yeah, yeah. Can I tell somebody something? If somebody says, he is the head of the company, uh, do, do, do you expect the head of the company to be the most foolish person in the company? So some of you, the head of your family, even the children have more intelligence than the head. They say, why did daddy do such a stupid thing? The children say, daddy is stupid. Uh, the, the entire family knows, mom, where, 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 where did they get it from? Are you with me? Are you with me? Now, but if, you, if that is your husband, you better submit. That means you, you have to kill the flesh. You will now need to come to the altar every service. Lie down. Holy Ghost, give me another dose of sanctification. That is your problem. Because the Bible says you have to submit. So you chose foolishness, submit to what? Foolishness. That is your choice. So even though your head is foolish, you must now submit to the foolish head. Because you are the one who said, I do. They didn't take it gone. You said, Thou foolish head, I love you. I will cleave to you in poverty and in foolishness. It's the kind of, you see, you, you, you said it. In what? In for, for riches and for poverty. In life and in death. For foolishness and for wisdom. You said it. So you vowed, even if you're foolish, you're my head. So obey. It is your choice. Calabasis. Oh, are you hearing me? Yes, 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 yes. Ah, Zavra is this. 
<sighs> Women, daughters, never marry a man you don't respect. Okay, this you shall have for my hand. You shall lie there in torment. Now, this is, as I end this message, this is what the Holy Ghost said to me. And the angel of the Lord showed me this. Let's turn to 1 Corinthians. And this, this stunned me. It stunned me. 1 Corinthians. Hallelujah. 1 Corinthians chapter 6. Catabarus. Mm. Oh, hallelujah. Mm -mm. First Corinthians chapter six, verse fifteen. First Corinthians chapter six, verse fifteen. Do you not know that your bodies are members of Christ? So you then take the members of Christ and make them members of a what? Halot? Certainly not. Okay, verse sixteen. Or do you not know that he who is joined to a halot? is one body for the two he says shall become what one flesh okay verse 17 for he that is joined to the Lord is one spirit with him he's telling you that this is what the angel of the Lord said and I saw it written in the spirit I'm going to read the exact statement ah, and it's going to help people here this is what the statement is. It says, sex connects you to the spirit halo of the one you're having sex with. Ah, it's not quiet in this Presbyterian church. I said what? He said that that's the word. He says he says sex connects a person to another person's spirit halo. Hey yeah 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 yeah. Zigaris. Woo! Wow. I need to say that again. What does the Bible say? It says, he that is joined to the Lord is one spirit. So it's telling you, the reason why you should be joined to a harlot is because when you join, when you join with her, you're connecting with what? Her spirit. But what part of her spirit are you connecting with her spirit, man? No, you're connecting with what? Her spirit halo. So some of you say, the man looks fine. He looks fine. But is his spirit halo fine? Wow. Hi, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey. Hey. When I saw her, hey. I went into a dream. I mean, my head turned. It's like I was drunk. I, 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 know that, I know that's what happened but what I am asking you did you check her spirit halo she has the halo of a gold digger hey yeah, 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 yeah. oh boy are you understanding me so some of you your problem is you connected yourself with a spirit halo so Satan understands that sex connects you to a person's spirit halo. So he makes sure that sex is packaged with some nice looking packages. With some people with some terrible spirit halos. So you can collect whatever is in their halo. So before you say a man is handsome, find out whether his halo is handsome too. Hey, I'm helping you. 
if before you say a woman is beautiful, uh, check if her halo is beautiful. She may have the body of Esther, but the halo of a dragon. Uh, you see, you see, I'm just teaching you something. Uh, you see, you don't understand. She may have what? The body of Esther and the halo of Jezebel. He may have the body of Absalom, but the halo of Judas. <laughs> In fact, and after you and that guy meet and get hooked up, it will take you uh, 10 years of anointing to recover. <laughs> 10 years to recover from what you collected from the halo. But he was fine. Really? Are you understanding this? So, do not, as, as a spiritual man or spiritual woman, develop a divine halo. Develop a halo that matches your calling. Before you become someone's friend, check their halo. And before, hey, you give the keys. Before you give the keys to your nakedness, make sure you have a covenant and you check the halo. Because you are not making love only to the body. You're making love to the halo. Ah, oh boy. When you enter into business with somebody, you're entering into business with them and their halo. Ah. <sighs> when you marry somebody, you're marrying them and their what? And their halo. <laughs> if they have an arrogant, foolish halo, you are you just married arrogance and foolishness. <laughs> ah, are you hearing me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So be wise today. And as I end this message, somebody say, Boy, Dr. Thomas, I need prayer. No, you need wisdom, which I've just given you. <laughs> you need to go home and reflect and say, Oh my Lord Jesus. Hey, Lord, if I, I share this with a particular guy, he was a, a Christian. He said, oh my Lord, we were, he said, you have now affected me. I'm thinking of all the things I collected from those women's halos. <laughs> oh my God, Jesus, oh my Lord. Ay, ay, ay. Hey, hey. He says, wait. If you just do it one time, are you going to connect with the halo? I said, yes. This is what, that's what the Bible says. Who is going to develop a halo that is not an enemy of your destiny? Amen? Who is going... You see... There are people who, after they've been hurt, they get very suspicious. No, you see, you don't need to be suspicious. Halos do not lie. What you don't have is wisdom. I am not suspicious of nobody. I just check halos. And I have the ability to check beyond halos. But halos do not lie. What you do, you ignore halos. <laughs> hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Woo! Shaka tabasis. Woo! Ha, ha, ha. Woo! Kalabasada has. Hi! When a man of God is preaching, 
Even though he's anointed, you can tell his halo. If you have any sense, you will know with me. How I, what you see is what is. I'm not trying to impress you because I even tell you my disasters. So if I wanted to impress you, I wouldn't tell you my disasters. That means what is what who I am, that is. You take it as it is. Lavra <laughs> Asas. I'm not trying to win you by presentation. This is who I is. <laughs> so as a result, what comes out of me is what? Is that halo. So when people meet me, they say, anyone who understands halo, they say, I can trust this guy. That is why I have so many tremendous partnerships. It is not because of my skill. The greatest thing is my halo. They read my halo and they know his halo is trustworthy because it is the truth because I'm going to say the truth I'm loyal I'm not deceptive and I'm honorable and I'm transparent so that because I've kindled that it comes out in my halo there are people who have MBAs and PhDs and they say every fancy thing but their energy tells them this one hey Deceptive. This is a wisdom church and a wisdom ministry. May you learn to read halos. You read the halo of my wife, you can do, do and anybody who can get halos will know this lady is not puffed up or proud. She knows, who she, she knows who she is. She has, you can tell she has an excellent spirit. But if she's preaching and, the, and the, uh, the shoes are uncomfortable, she'll kick it off and preach. Uh, somebody who's proud will suffer. <laughs> they will suffer it. <laughs> they, will, they will bear it. They will, they will, they will bear it up. <laughs> Because their pride will make the what? Bear it. These are very simple things. Absolutely. So, learn. That's what I'm saying. What I'm teaching you is going to help. For some of you, you're too guarded. Some of you, you're too guarded with men. No. You see, listen. As this last thing I say. Be open and just read halos. I even talk my teaching you something. Now, do you know what my business colleagues do? Top business colleagues? Huh? Do you know what they do? Well, they, they, they're not prophetic. Me, I'm prophetic. So, if they really want to read someone's halo, Ah, uh, and they're not reading it well. They have lunch with you, or they take you to a place where you can relax. I'm teaching you. Then the halo comes out. So, if you want to read a halo, you be relaxed and let the person be relaxed. You read the halo. If your man is interested in you, don't be uptight. Like, hmm. What is your intentions? Why are you smiling at me? Why did you wink at me? Why do you want to sit next to me in church? Why are you texting me? Why? That is, 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 uh, it was not helpful. with me because I know what happened with the last man and in fact as soon as the guy comes you tell him the first you tell him if you're coming like the last one let's go you see 
The man doesn't need that. All you need to do, just chill. The fastest way to find somebody is when they chill. Because when you chill, your halo comes out. Then read it. Your father is a wise man. The daughters and sons of wise men don't have to worry. Just make him relax. When he relax, if it's a fraud style, it will appear. <laughs> so you don't need to worry. Just to relax. How many of you know that when, when you're not relaxed, let me ask you a question. When you're not relaxed, what do you do? You do what? You, you're very conscious of what you want to present. Are you with me? So when you're not relaxed, you're very like what? This is what I've got to do. This is this thing. You're, you're very like this thing. You, you, you understand that? So you're not what? Relaxed. For the real you to come out, you have to do what? Relax. When you relax, what comes out of you? Hey, there's some ladies I know. Hey, they, they, they talk in Queen's English when they relax. Hey, even they're worse than the fish market women. <laughs> You're like, what have mercy? This one. Hey. This one. Hey. So, so the, 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 the gap between. <laughs> The presentation and the relaxed version is like wow. When you see the presentation, you think that butter cannot melt in their mouth. They're like, yes, and mm, yes. That is called what? Presentation. So do not be fooled. Presentation is not halo. Do not be fooled by presentation. So a man can do what presentation. So if you're so stupid. He he, he, he he treats me like a queen. He opened the door for me. Listen, open door. My God, what is open door? I just feel like a woman. Like a woman. What's wrong with you? It's too stupid. I don't like stupid daughters. I don't like this. Too stupid. Open door. He bought me roses. Oh, so what? Roses. He's so romantic. He makes me feel like a woman. The other one didn't do it. So I feel like a woman. He activates the woman in me. If someone needs to activate the woman in you, you have a problem. Where did the woman go? You should already know you're a woman. Jesus, I can't understand some people. All of that is what? Presentation. You see, so do not be moved by what? Presentation. Be moved by what? Halo that is seen in what? Relaxation. That is why a man of God or woman who when they come up, they're relaxed. It's just themselves. They're just, ah, then it's just easy. Because you can be very good at presentation. You with me? That is why for me, I don't present. I just, I'm, I, I am, I just be. If I was a presenter, I would not be operating at the levels of business I am in. I would not be. I'm telling you, I will not be. I will not be. Because there's certain levels of business I'm in. I'm not, there's some I'm in because of my wisdom. There's some I'm in because of my relationships. But the highest levels I am in is because of my halo. Because they've looked at it and said, can we trust this guy? And my halo says, absolutely yes. You know why? Because who I am here is who I am everywhere. 
It's no different. Calabas sisters. Ah, is somebody going to change their life? Huh? Hallelujah. Ha, ha, ha. Yay. Don't be nervous around people. Be relaxed so they can be relaxed. Don't say, I, I'm not going to have any friends. But you need friends. I don't have to choose friends. No, relax. Then they will show themselves. And you see, relax. Some of you are too uptight. Relax. Relax. Some people, I don't hear God. You don't need to hear God for this. Just relax. And the halo will tell you. Let us stand. Has somebody learned something today? Oh, yes. Elis. Hi, hi, hi. Abba Savra has us. Have you received some wisdom today? Yes. Hey. Has the message on spirit halos transformed you? Kalaba Sevre Estevista. Ekon Sevre Estavayas. Isto vede be seke hada basis. Shikorobo sege de kedesis. Lavramana shokorobosis. Let's just worship him. Let's kindle some worship before we close. We kindle some worship. And as you get ready to kindle some worship. Ah, there's some of you you have kindled an inferiority aura around you your father spiritual father has the aura of a prince Christ I know who I am you have an aura around you but so some of you you're going to do well you know why you know why I mean can I say it ah I mean some of you had inferiority issues then you had sex with people that had some very bad spirit halos but the Holy Ghost is going to disinfect you <laughs> Hey, I, I, I. She'll get some disinfection. I mean, I'm telling you. So you can have a, a real holy halo. Amen? A strong halo. A halo of royalty. A halo of dignity. A halo of power. A halo of confidence. A halo of tranquility. A halo of love. Am I helping somebody? Yes. Lavra asadesis. Ekarahasis. Ah. And as we do this, we're going to take our offering. Someone needs to create the, the halo of a giver. Jesus. Have you seen some people, you already know they're tight. You know, the inside you see this is a miser even if this one has 10 million dollars they would ask you why they must give 20 dollars <laughs> they have a tight halo <laughs> oh Jesus hey! there are people who are dishonorable there are people who bless ministers bless men of God there are people who their halo is very tight very tight is a halo so as we as we worship we're going to sing Ruach Elohim as we bring our offerings we bring our offerings to front as we sing it Shakatai's. bring your offering because we are a people who kindle a giving halo a halo of excellence come on Let's worship him.
Just tell me something. He says, My son, tell them this, they'll get it. He says, I want to fill their lives in such a way that they have a halo of favor around them. That they have a halo that attracts money to them. That they have a halo that makes people trust them. They have a halo that opens doors for them he says tell them ask them how do you spot a gay or lesbian how do, what's the number one way you spot them by what I'm asking you a question by the halo because the gay halo is a strong halo how do you spot the lesbian halo you, you spot you by the halo. You can say, that guy is gay. We have some gay tendencies. Did the man tell you he was gay? No. What did you see? What did you read? The halo. He has a gay halo. It's the halo. I'm telling you, that's something. He has skin to the halo. Now, you can have a halo that somebody says, I'm going to help her. Hey, yeah, you can have a halo that someone says, You see that one? We shouldn't trust that one. See that? <laughs> that's, that, that, that's something very, if everybody says, I don't know, yeah, I feel it too. Yes, yes. He talks a good talk, but hmm, hmm, hmm. That halo, I, I don't know, I don't know. Now you know what it is. Halo. May from this day, may you work on your halo. May you kindle the right things. Amen? I said, may you what? Kindle the right things. Esther. Now, some of you say what? Now, the, the, the woman who said what? Everywhere I go, men are just checking me out and telling me all kinds of stuff. It is not about your dress. Because some, it doesn't matter even if you wear a maternity dress. There is a kind of halo that a woman has. I'm telling you, it's, it's, it's halo. It's there's something about halo. Halo is a serious thing. Every womanizer reads what how do you know a woman that will have a one night stand with you in a club you see I'm giving you secrets how do you know a woman that will have a one night stand with you in a club how do you know in fact there's some that will even do it in the toilet is it truth you can read the halo Men read the halo. The women also who read. Ah. He's with his wife, but I'm telling you. <laughs> give him give him two hours with me. 
They can what? Read what? They read what? The halo. It's the halo. Delilah knows how to read what? The halo. You see, I'm, I'm teaching you something. So, do not work on here. Am I helping you? Right? You see, you can work on your presentation, but the halo is different. So, a person can put on the nicest suit, but they walk in a place, and as they walk in the place, there's a homosexual halo. <laughs> so, the suit, the dress, the makeup, everything does not change the halo. Now, let me help you. You could have had a lifestyle before. Like say, you, were, you had a rude halo. Some, some of my daughters have a rude halo. Hey, I'm, I'm teaching you. Your halo is rude. We can see you, you are obnoxious and rude. You can see you have the obnoxious and rude tendency inside of you. The halo tells you. Now, you could have had that lifestyle and now you're trying now to be different. You see, you're trying. The day will come, the halo of you will change. So you need to keep doing the right thing until the halo changes. That the day will come, somebody will meet you in the supermarket and says, are you a preacher? Are you a Christian? He says, you stand in front of me and are you a Christian? That's because you have what? The halo of God's presence. Amen. The people who have met me, they say, you, you're a Christian. In fact, they say, are you, a, are you a minister? I say, why? He, say, he says, you just, you, you look like a, a minister. That's because of what? They're not prophetic. It's what? The halo. Oh, may we get this message today. May you develop the halo for where God wants to take you. But I'm concerned <laughs> because for some of my sons and daughters what God wants to do for them next year 